Hello friends, I'm Dr. T, wishing you a great summer. Uh, today we're going to continue to address proteins part 3 and we are asking four questions. Where are we getting our proteins from? What are the healthiest proteins in the world? Is there a correlation with the digestive amino acid score and the health outcomes? And what's the difference between animal and plant uh, sources of uh, protein? And uh, we end up with uh, quiz time. Uh, let's look at uh, soybeans, soy chunks, and satan, which is 75 grams per 100 uh, uh, grams. Uh, satan is also known as wheat, meat, or gluten. It dates to the sixth century in China. It's coming out Asian countries, Japan, Thailand, and Vietnam. And soy chunks is a byproduct of soybean uh, oil extraction. And here is a picture of Satan and soya uh, chunks. Let's continue looking at uh, legumes and the amounts of protein. We have uh, pinto beans, kidney beans, and soybeans. And if you look at uh, chickpeas, black uh, uh, beans, and lentils, we have 19, 13.4, and uh, 9 uh, grams. Let's look at nuts. Are there proteins in nuts? Uh, yes, indeed. Peanuts, pistachios, and uh, uh, almonds, they have 26, uh, 20, 21 grams per 100 grams. If you look at walnuts, hazelnuts, and cashews, we have 15, 15, and uh, 18. And if you're looking at uh, uh, comparing peanuts, pecans, and macadamia nuts, they have 26, 9 and 8 grams. And what about seeds? Do we have proteins in seeds? Yes, we indeed we do. And the winner is pumpkin seeds. Uh, however, uh, sunflower, uh, flax seeds, sesame seeds still have a significant amount of proteins at uh, uh, 21, 18, and 18. And even uh, chia, uh, pine, and uh, uh, hemp seeds have 17, 14, and 4.4 grams per uh, 100 grams. And uh, uh, let's look at grains. Grains are a very important staple in uh, the diet in many parts of the world. If you look at the bulgur wheat and uh, barley and uh, whole bread, they have 12, 12, and uh, you know, 13 grams. If you look at wild rice and tofu, it's 15, and uh, grams. But vegetables, they have any proteins? And in fact, they do. Let's look at edamame and green peas with 11 and 5 grams, and at uh, uh, mushrooms, corn, and Brussels sprouts. They vary between 3.1 and 3.4. Looking at um, uh, broccoli, spinach, and kale, uh, again, they vary between 2.8 and 2.9 uh, grams of protein for, per 100 grams of serving. And if you're looking at potatoes and avocado, uh, they still have some protein. The sweet potato is a very important staple in the Okinawa diet in Japan, one of the, the blue zones. The blue zones are areas in the world that have the highest concentration of centenarians uh, living a healthy life. And I hope I now have convinced everybody that in our industrialized world, we don't need to worry if we get enough protein, but we have to worry if we are getting the healthiest uh, sources of protein, and regrettably, we are not. Let's look at uh, uh, protein packages. We don't need just uh, proteins. They uh, come in a package and they are associated with uh, saturated fats, uh, trans fats, uh, cholesterol, too much sodium, especially the processed meats. Plant proteins have the healthiest uh, oils, the monium, pollen, saturated. They had fiber, other phytonutrients, very important to our health. And let's compare side by side animal versus plant uh, proteins. If you look at animal proteins, again, they have trans fats, saturated fats, the bad fats. The plant proteins, on the other hand, have the healthiest uh, fat. Animal proteins increase cholesterol, plant proteins lower cholesterol, especially the soluble fibers, the legumes and the beans. And processed meats have too much salt. Uh, and if you just uh, add 
one serving of red meat a day, you increasing your uh, death rate by 13%. Uh, if you uh, have an additional seven processed meats, they increase the risk of death by 20%. In contrast, five servings of fruits and vegetables a day increase your longevity by 14, 8.6, and 3.4 years, depending if you start at age 20, age 60, or age 80. I would say it's never too late to start. And in summary, the animal proteins increase the risk of heart attacks, strokes, diabetes, and total mortality. The plant proteins do exactly uh, the uh, opposite. And there is really a need to change the definition of protein quality. And in fact, uh, Dr. David Katz uh, from Yale and Dr. Jenkins from Toronto and Chris Gardner at Stanford actually wrote an article in 2019 uh, just about this issue. Uh, because right now, uh, protein quality is measured by a score that just tells you if proteins are easily absorbable and digestible, but does not correlate with health outcomes. And the reality is the animal proteins are literally killing us. In conclusion, we don't need isolated proteins. They come in packages. We need to consider the amount of fats, the amount of cholesterol, the salt, the fiber, Higher quality does not equal high risk, and the big steaks do not equal bigger muscle. And animal proteins increase cardiovascular disease, cancer, diabetes, overall mortality. Plant proteins do the opposite. And we Americans, we don't need more proteins. We need to change the source from animal to plant source uh, to improve our health. And it's quiz time. Uh, true or false of animal proteins have a higher uh, quality than plant proteins based on the digestible amino acid score yes it's true plant proteins are healthier it is true uh, the least healthier animal proteins is processed meats that's true the best of the animal proteins will be fish still need to worry about mercury especially during pregnancy and the average American needs a protein supplement? No. The average American does not need a protein supplement. And remember, your health is too important to be delegated to others. Let's just take uh, control. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell. Write a comment. I'm trying to make these videos as interactive as possible. I publish these videos on the second and fourth Friday of each month. See you next video.